Every young person needs to have this moment where they think about themselves. Forget your friends, forget your ends, forget your postcode. You, 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 you got no connection with that, bro. The, co the connection is why you're on this planet. And you got to ask yourself the question, what are you here for, to do? The strongest force in life to move towards a goal or to move towards success or to become successful is purpose. And there is no debate on that. It is every successful person that I've spoken to, it was purpose that pulled them towards success. It was a purpose that got them out of bed most of those mornings. It's not motivation that does it, it is purpose that does it. Purpose is extremely important. And today we're talking with Mark Prince, somebody who found his purpose through tragedy, somebody who found his purpose through heart, heartbreak and pain, and somebody who really does have an extremely strong driving force behind him, talking about why purpose is so important and how to build purpose. Today's video is sponsored by MulliganBrothers.com, the best motivational clothing brand in the world where you can now get the Inspire Change hoodies linked down below. 100% uh, of the profits go back into creating these videos. But today we're talking with Mark Prince. He's gonna deliver a lesson on how to develop purpose and why you need purpose to start any endeavor in life. I'm your host, Jordan Mulligan. Let's jump into the video. Going through my crime, going through the drugs, going through that process, I ended up at 21, six years of madness. Um, and I call it that for a reason, because I didn't know who I was. I didn't know my purpose and I didn't know where I was going. And I didn't know that I had potential and great gifts. And I believe every single individual has been made with purpose that's got purpose. The chair we're sitting on, everything's made with purpose. So how can the greatest thing God made not have purpose? Me and you. God's gift of life is me and you. And how can that not have purpose? So I know that we all have got special gifts. So um, at 21, after spending a night of just taking drugs, I must, I must have been on the pipe with my mates. And um, I just felt that... I, my life, where is it going? I began to ask myself questions. Like, what's going on with you, P? This is not what you had dreamt about when you was a kid. This is not what you wanted. You're letting your mum down. Because uh, obviously my relationship with my dad wasn't the best. We talked. We talked, but it weren't the best. And my relationship with my mum was always special, always tight. She was the one that stayed up late crying, praying for me, asking God to keep me safe. So I'd always check my mum. Even if my dad didn't allow me in the house, I'd wait for her at the end of the road. When she came out, I'd see her. So we get to talk. So I had this, this moment, this very changing moment in my life where I thought about me and I thought about my future. And every young person needs to have this moment where they think about themselves. Forget your friends, forget your ends, forget your postcode. You, 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 you got no connection with that, bro. The, co the connection is why you're on this planet. And you got to ask yourself the question, what are you here for to do? What impact are you here to make? Because we're all here to make positive impact. And when I answer those questions, I realize I have to turn away from drugs. I have to turn away from crime. I have to stop shutting because I can't proudly tell my mum what I do to make money. How do I dress myself? How do I take care of my children? Because by 21, I had Tanisa and Kyan. And my kids meant the world to me, the world to me. And I wanted to be a good dad. I wanted to be a good dad. Why? Because I had a volatile relationship with my dad and my dad taught me what not to be. What you know how, how not to deal with your kids so now I had this new uh, thought in my head that I could be someone away from the roads away from crime away from the usual people that I move with and I could take charge of my life and I could create something different for myself and I knew how hard that was gonna be and it was scary but I didn't 
think about it too deeply because if you do, you'll run off, you'll run away, you'll turn from it, you'll find excuses why you're not going to be able to do it. So I would always, because of that lesson I've learned, I will always say to people, if you feel that you can do something, don't think about how. Don't think about what you're doing currently and how you're going to stop. Just decide what you're going to do. The answers will come. And I decided that I'm, I've got to get away from all of this bullshit and I've got to make something of myself. I just decided that I want to fight. I don't know why, probably based on the fact that I didn't believe that at the time I was smart enough to go uni and had the time to go uni and earn money and look after my kids. I didn't believe in that, that, that um, journey. What I did believe is that I could, I could go down the route of boxing and in getting paid to fight and then being able to have a work to look after my children. I did believe that. So because I did believe that, I began this journey of what do fighters do? They go running. Okay, I've got to go running. What else? They go to the gym. I've got to go to the gym. I've got to train hard. I've got to watch film clips of them. I've got to immerse myself into becoming this person. And then the discipline of it started, you know, coming into play. Like, wow, what level of discipline? Because it's not like I knew everything before I made the decision. I didn't. I just said, I'm going to do it. Obviously, you've got an idea of what it takes to be a boxer, but you really have no idea until you begin. So I didn't realize that I really loved smoking weed that much until it was time to stop. I think it was easier for me to stop going out, sucking on a crack pipe with certain men, stop taking E, stop taking acid tabs, because they were harder, stronger, and more damaging, sniffing and stuff like that. So it was like, somehow I managed to just cut that. Like, that's dead to me, you know, because there's no way that I can, can become a great fighter sniffing, taking, a, you know, taking drugs. So that was gone. The weed, I had to wean myself off neatly and do it differently. So I'd, instead of smoking how many spliffs throughout the day, I would decide to have one and try and make it last. My friends would laugh at me, you, what are you putting the spliff out for? Because I'm trying, I'm starting running now. And the more I ran, and the more I realized I was dead and I was vomiting and couldn't you know, do one lap, and then it turned to doing one lap and doing two and doing three, is the more I valued my fitness and the more I didn't want to spoil it by smoking. Your want and need and desire to achieve your goal has to be stronger than everything else that comes against you. So what was happening, whatever was going on with me that was horrible, that made me uncomfortable, that I didn't like, and what you hear people say, oh, that's too hard. Everything that made me feel like that, I would envision my end goal. And I would realize that, are you gonna allow this to get in the way of the pleasure of reaching this goal. Thank you so much to Mark for this. Um, I'm gonna link all Mark's stuff down below. But the idea of purpose is understated. You know, we can, have, we can have motivations in life, we can have goals in life, but a purpose is what is gonna get you out of bed for 10 years straight because it is your calling. It is what you feel you were designed and you were brought to on earth to do is a skill set that you have. It's the thing that makes you happy. It's the thing that serves the world. And it all works in beautiful conjunction with each other. And it's why it feels so right. And honestly, when you find your purpose, you will know and it will feel like absolute magic. And you will wake up with a smile on your face. Nine times out of 10, there's always one times out of 10 where it's difficult, but nine times out of 10 with a smile on your face. And it's why you will be successful. There is no question of getting out of bed to do your work because it is your purpose. It doesn't, you don't need to question effort. You don't need to question when it's tough and difficult because it is your purpose. It's hard to explain, but once you've felt it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Today's video was sponsored by Mullingers.com, the best motivational clothing brand in the world. 
where you can now get the new hoodies linked down below where 100% of the profits go back into creating these videos. I'm your host, Jordan Mulligan. Have a blessed and productive day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.